Hi, I'm Iris, Plant Trippy on Instagram, and welcome back to my channel. For today, gusto ko lang i-share yung plant haul ko nung October. Before I show the plants that I've acquired, I am actually surprised na ginagawa ko tong video na to kasi naka-acquire ako ng more than 10 plants with the crazy prices right now parang nakakagulat siya. At ang mas nakakagulat is nakamura ako sa mga bibili ko halaman. So basically iba doon bigay and then syempre the rest binili ko na pero the thing is I didn't even spend that much on them. Here we go. Yung first plant na gusto ko pakita is this one. This is Plusha Rosea Princess. I got this as a thank you token nung in-invite ako mag-talk dun sa isang event sa Glorieta. I made a video about it. Nalagay ko na yung link up there. And then what's nice about this plant is they also call this autograph plant. If ni scar mo siya dito, I think yung scar niya syempre mag-heal pero mag-grow siya with the leaf, kung lalaki yung leaf. So, kaya siya tinatawag ng autograph plant. And then, this specific cultivar kasi, yung flowers niya is white na medyo may konting pink na hint. Basta ganun. Maganda yung bulaklak nito. And then, what's nice about this plant is, I got it like that. So, ang sabi nila, it can stay like that for a while in water. Kasi, based on my research, parang mangrove siya or something. Basta, Ganun. Kaya niya mabuhay sa tubig for a while before it grows. Next plant is a fern. This one. This was given to me by Magic. Um, I'm not sure about the ID, pero ang tawag nila dito is Japanese Creeping Fern. So I guess mag-creep to or mag-trail eventually. Next plant bigay rin sa akin. It's this one. Epipremnum falsifolium. I think this is my third falsifolium. The first one po was given to me by Nante. The second was given to me by Gawain, birthday gift. And this one, bigay naman sa akin ni Magic na nagbigay ng fern na to. Ang napansin ko lang sa falsifolium, kailangan nito pa-climb. Else, magiging mahabang stem lang siya. As in, isang runner lang siya, walang dahon. Kasi ganun nangyari dun sa una kong falsifolium. So, Ngayon, may dahon na siya kasi napaklimb ko na siya. Next plant is this. Dracaena Florida Beauty. Itong plant is yung tinatawag nila ano, Japanese bamboo. Yung nilalagay sa labas ng bahay. Yung sinasabi nila, oh, pag namulaklak yan, lucky. So, ito yun. What I've noticed about this plant, is, aside from the beautiful foliage, is this. Ayan. Yung nakita ko is parang offset or offshoot na tumutubo sa ilalim. So basically, feeling ko magpulo niya tong paso na to. And this plant, I think, grows eh. Hindi siya, ganito kalit, lumalaki to. Ay, not sobrang laki, pero lumalaki siya. Next plant is this. Sisus triata. I think, kamag-anak siya ng grapes. This one, nakita ko sa Instagram ng friend ko na nagbigay nito ng falsifolium at sa kanilang fern. Ang tawag rin nila dito, sugar vine. Next plant is this. Um, Hedera Helix or English Ivy. Matay ko na gusto nito eh, pero last month lang kumuha. Next plant na nakuha ko this month. This one. Epicia Magnificent. Matagal na ako interested sa Epicia. Pero natatakot ako kumuha kasi feeling ko mas mahirap siya sa begonias. And then, what I've noticed sa Epicia, di ba, meron siyang runners na ganyan. Pag chinek, ewan ko lang kung makikita sa camera. Pag chinek dito sa ilalim. Dito. Meron na siyang nodes ng roots. So, 
I think easiest way to propagate this is lagyan ng separate pot dito. Ipapatong ito sa isang pot. And then mag-uugat na siya. As once na nag-uugat na siya at lumaki-laki na yung mga dahon, pwede na ito separate. So you have a new plant. So feeling ko that's the safest way to propagate this. Ibang tao kasi nalulusawan pag hinot nila tapos saksak sa lupa or wherever. So feeling ko talaga kailangan mo na siya iparoot sa isang pot. And then cut it off para save tayo. Itong fourth lens na ito, ito yung plants na binili ko dun sa 500 peso plant shopping challenge na ginawa ko sa UC Circle. Next plant is this. This is Hoya Putis Porcelana. Actually, meron na ako nito. Pero kumuha ako ulit kasi yung akin wala pang peduncles and this meron na siya. One, two peduncles. So, yun lang naman yun. And cute yung flowers nito. Parang plastic yung itsura. Next plant is another Hoya. And it's this. This is Hoya Crimson Queen. I got this because nakita ko ng mura. Eh, yung mga nakita ko even before the pandemic. Mahal. This one's cheap, so kumuha na ako. Might as well. Next plant or next plant? Kasi pinag-isa ko siyang paso. Are these? Petonia. So, this is Petonia Frankie and this is Petonia... I forgot. I don't know what the idea of this is. Petonia. Itong Petonia, honestly, medyo... mahal siya. Hindi na medyo. Talagang mahal siya. So... Hindi naman siya tulad ng Fetonia na 300. Isa and yung common green Fetonia lang yun. At least ito, unique. Although meron influx ng Fetonia sa ito recently. Pero, let's see what, once in a blue moon, nabigyan marami pagsak. Kumuha rin ako nito kasi gusto ko gumawa ng terrarium. Next plant is this. So this is what they call the True Birds of Paradise. Sinab nilang True Birds of Paradise kasi meron isa pang plant na tinatawag nilang Birds of Paradise. And yung flower niya ay mukhang lobster claws or crab claws. Basta mukha siyang claws pa ganun. Ito yung nagbubulaklak na mukhang ibon. Now, the specific species, di ko sure. Pero I'm hoping that this is Trelitzia Nicolai. Yung white yung flower. And if it really is Nicolai, ito yung Giant Birds of Paradise. Because the rest, the Regine and the Junsea, they're the smaller ones. Basically, mag-differentiate naman siya sa foliage. Si Nicolai, yung sa mukhang sabi niyong dahon. And the other two, si Regine mukhang paddle. Si Junsea, mas maliit na palo yung dahon. So, since juvenile ito, hindi ko sure. Pero I think, I think Nicolai ito. And yun yung gusto ko. Next plant is an alocasia and I think ito yung matagal ko nang hinahanap. This one. Tila ilalim. Pink Petios. I think this is alocasia pink dragon. Puto binebenta siyang maroko pink. Either way, pink petiol, red yung ilalim ng leaf. So, ayun, it doesn't really matter kung Pink Dragon, Morocco Pink, pero I think it's, it is Pink Dragon na nilabel ng Morocco Pink. Iba pa rin to sa Alocasia Aurora. Because, ang Alocasia Aurora, although similar yung itsura ng leaf nila, si Alocasia Aurora hindi namumula yung likod. And then, both silang Pink Petio. Last three plants. Next is a fern again. So it's this fern. Mukha siyang fish tail. Cute. This plant is an Aspinium. I forgot the specific species. Nalagay ko na lang sa mga. Pero ayan siya. Sabi sa akin nung nag-ID na to for me, kahit na Aspinium siya, medyo finicky siya. Unlike yung mga usual na bird's nest na ferns na Aspinium, na walang arte sa buhay. This one, medyo ma-arte. So, we'll see. Oh, my spores! Second to the last na plant, 
esse begonia. Esse begonia. I'm not sure kung ano yung exact ID na tong begonia na to, pero feeling ko this begonia is endemic. Aside from being endemic, I know some people hate this is kung makikita nyo, may fuzz yung tao niya. And then, last plant for my October plant haul is a plant that I've been looking for since last year. And di ko siya mabili-bili kasi namamahalan ako sa kanya. So, itong plant na to, may recent influx from Europe. And it is this plant. Sindapsus pictus silvery ant. Don't mind the, ano, <laughs> the syngoniums. Pero, kaya siya nandito kasi binigay lang siya sa akin as a cutting. So, I got two nodes. So, ngayon, nirroot ko siya ngayon sa sphagnum moss with the syngonium. And then, napansin ko, parang mas velvety siya compared dun sa exotica ko and Argreus na Syndapsus pictus. So, yun lang naman siya. Silver Lian. Yung last three plants, yung Fern. This begonia and the silvery ant. Itong three na kuha ko siya nung pumunta ako Horti, Filipina sa BGC. And I spent 600 for these two. Then, itong silvery ant, bigay lang siya na cutting for me. So, thank you, Mon, for giving me this cutting. Ayun, plant haul ko no October. And I got 16 plants and thankful ako that I didn't have to spend so much on these plants last October because itong dalawa from BGC, 600 pesos. And then this one from the Philippine Orchid Society show before the Horti Cultura, 250. Ito bigay. Ito 150, 150, 100, 100. So, hindi talaga ako bumasa sobra on plants. And I'm really, really thankful for that. So there, if you like my October plant haul, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Click on the bell button para manotify kayo on my future videos. Follow me on Instagram. I'm more active there. Message me there. Talk to me there. Give me suggestions. Thank you for watching and happy planting!